Hey, I've been meaning to talk to you. I know you've had some success here on SmackDown, but I have some constructive criticism if you're mature enough to handle it. I'd like to think I am. What is it? I found some holes in your game. Several, in fact. And if you don't repair those holes, they'll get bigger and... Really? Yes, really. You can ignore what I'm saying and accept me... I don't know. Other than the satisfaction of helping someone become the best version I of... I don't think that will be necessary. Okay, so what's your answer? Do you want my help or no? I want to be the best Great. I can... I'm going to run you through an intense program of challenges that will pinpoint and correct... Agree to disagree. No. Agree to agree. All Sorry. right. This superstar looks determined tonight. Whoa, from behind! They're gonna settle this right now. This is an all-out brawl right out of the box. What should the approach be, Corey? To not get hit? If you're on defense, find a way to avoid the variety of attacks that a no-DQ match allows. If you're on offense, stay on the attack because anything goes. It is so important to know when to create separation and when to go on offense. Yeah. Oh, just whipped into the table. He's got a plan for that table, and it does not involve a dinner party. This is not going to be pretty. Not there. Oh, not man. like that. Flapjack. What a counter by Riddle. Oh, a spinning heel kick. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Diving leg drop from the top rope. to the face. Ah, oh, knee smashing the face. Uh-oh, a stutter! Ooh! He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Riddle gets reversed. Swanton. And I don't know what's going through these superstars' mind. Aren't they aware of the dangers up there? I think they're blinded by adrenaline at this point, Michael. Tough position to be caught in here. Just tossed. She could airline miles for that. Oh, no! Oh, my God! There is no telling the amount of internal damage going through that body right now. After, what, a 15, 20-foot drop? Straining that trapezius muscle. Flex it right back. This can't bode well. With the counter. Ow. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Oh, did you hear that thud? 
Saw that one coming. Oh, God, knee meets face. Oh, wow, rendered on. I saw what you did against Riddle. Could have been worse. I took down one of the toughest guys on the roster, and that's all you can say? It was a step in the right direction. Okay, so what... I see holes in your submission game. Proving Shortcuts are bad? No, we've been over this. The WWE Universe on their face. Hey, is that boring? Here comes Cesaro. The Swiss cyborg has arrived. Corey, we've said it before and we'll say it again. Pound for pound, Cesaro is the strongest man in all of WWE. And Bit of an odd pairing here as this submission match gets underway. What do you mean odd? Drew Gulak has a proven track record of helping superstars be the best version of themselves, and I heard this is his latest project. Apparently, Coach Gulak has tasked his student with working on his submission game tonight. Let's see how it goes. Oh, Swanton! Now, oh, trampling the opposition. from Cesaro looking for a high risk high reward situation oh up high expected that one power slam running Swanton finds the mark and Cesaro is being picked to pieces here flying oh and he doesn't connect Senton. Man, that's going to hurt. He's lost some of his win now. He looks as good as ever so far, though. He's been able to avoid any debilitating holds at this point in the match. Oh, my gosh. Terminating knee smash. You can see the anguish growing on his face. Yeah, he's being faced with a lot of adversity right now. And he's able to reverse. He skirts around it. What a clothesline. Good grief. Oh! Blood is flowing from Cesaro's face. Yeah. 
Super kick! And it's Cesaro being dominated. Cesaro now just trying to survive. Look at this face first. Uh-oh, double underhook. Tiger bomb. Oh, it's soon. We could be seeing a submission here. It is locked in. STF applied. This one could be up. That's it. Out. That's it. Nice win in the submission match last week. But when I was out there, I noticed you rely on reversals way too much. You're not giving no, up. No, never. It's just going to take more work than anticipated. First, let's nip this reversal issue in the bud. In your next match, you're not allowed to use any reversals. Got it? Yep, and no shortcuts, because if you take shortcuts, you get cut short. There just might be hope. Look who it is! Hey, is that boring? And his opponent, representing Lucha House Party from San Juan. This superstar is coming in with a lot of enthusiasm and energy right now. But what's going to happen when the excitement wears off and he comes to realize he's in a fight against someone looking to take his head off? All I can say is we've seen adrenaline take this superstar very far in the past. And taking him on is a luchador that throws caution to the win. The high risk, high reward, golden links. But don't look at Lince as one dimensional. He's really developed a multi tool offense. Yeah, Lince Dorado continues to mature inside the ring and out of it. I just heard he learned how to use the litter box. Bang, right in the face. Uh oh. Slapjack! Way up there. Breaker. Unpacks a well-placed punch. Placed in the corner. In full control here. Face first in the turnbuckle. Uh-oh, wrist lock. Springboard. DDT. Spinning heel kick. And Lince takes the brunt of the situation there. Cobra clutch. Front throat side slam. <laughs> Running leg lariat in the corner. Beautiful. Running Swanton finds the mark. Uh-oh. Phoenix 
splash! Oh gosh, how'd he do that? Into the pin attempt, and he powers out. Close call, that was almost lights out. Cobra Clutch, slam! Off into the pin. He is still very much in this. Vicious combination of strikes. Like he's got 11 arms and feet. And an overbearing amount of offense against Dorado here. Dorado has to trust his instincts at this point. He is just reeling from that offense. Incoming! Diving foot stop to the chest. Running Swanton finds the mark. A oh, big height on that moonsault. This is amazing. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Series of kicks in the corner. And he's taking on a persistent assault. He's got to wake up and get in the fight. No, no, Slight no, no, no. shot right across the back of the neck. Ouch. Lindsay in real danger now. Uh-oh, double underhook. Tiger bomb. Is there any life left in Lindsay? From the top. Breathtaking athleticism with a 450. Looking for the victory. Two. And that's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Here is your winner, the X-Factor. Yeah, with the results of this battle plain to see on their face, at least they can say they won the match. I don't know if I'd say the battle scars were worth it, Cole, but I will say the one who did it to them isn't the one celebrating right now. You're progressing nicely with your training, but we still have more to fix. Okay. What's next, coach? We've talked a lot about shortcuts, and one of the ultimate shortcuts in sports entertainment is top rope maneuvers. You might remember my- Of course. How could I forget the NFZ? Abbreviations are verbal shortcuts. Oh, right. So your next match? Here comes trouble. Hey, is that boring? Unique matchup here tonight being contested under no fly zone rules. Trust the process, Cole. Drew Gulak is making his pupil into a streamlined fighting machine. We've seen Gulak out here for several weeks now with his so-called student, 
But is his coaching really making a difference? The jury's still out. Ooh. And Apollo Crews reverses it. Oh, stomp it away. Saw that one coming. Swanton. Hooked up. Discus Larian. That was nasty. Uh oh. Phoenix Flash! Oh gosh, how'd he do that? Apollo Crews a little out of his element here. Getting pummeled. Coming back in the ring. Brutal knee right to the face. Apollo isn't being given any room to recover. Some flaws in Cruz's game plan are being exposed. German suplex. Apollo fends that off. Counter after counter. Super kick! Left by the turnbuckles. One, two. And then follows it up with a big one in the face. He's starting to struggle here. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. And now he's on the downside. Yeah, and every attempt to fight back is being negated. Interesting setup for this offense. Face first. Uh-oh, double underhook. Tiger Bomb. And Apollo's laid out. She wrote. Here is your winner, the X Factor. This is Gressel, perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. some bad news. You failed the Drew Gulak training program. What do you mean? I did everything you told me to do. I passed all your tests. Sorry, you just don't have what it takes. There were too many holes to fix and not enough time. I'll need to look elsewhere for a partner. No, I will not accept this. I'm light years better than I was when we started training together and you know it. Okay, okay. You passed your final test. Good job. Huh? Your last weakness was perseverance, but you just refused to accept failure. You're now truly ready to be my partner. Congratulations, I'm proud of you. Thanks. All right, now that the easy part is over, let's get to work. We have our first match teaming together next week. If you apply everything you learned, we'll be holding Tag Team Gold in note.
A cool persona and a respected mixed martial arts background. Riddle is here to fight. Apparently, we're looking to this graduate of the True Gulak training program as the student and teacher team up for the first time here tonight. Gulak's molded his partner in his image, and the two now seem poised to go after tag team gold. Tough first match here tonight, though, as they take on two opponents who are out for revenge in Riddle and Apollo Crews. Setting it up. Boom! Oh, foot just stomping down. Riddle avoids the attack. Big forearm. Was ready for that. What a close line. Good grief. Oh, running knee strike. Now he's been put on the defensive. Yeah, he might want to tag out just to have the fresher teammate in right now. Not that he can't fend for himself right now. Oh, moonsault. Man, did you see the height on that? Riddle is fading here, and Riddle needs to fight back. Great awareness from Riddle. If Riddle was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. Ooh, jarring European uppercut. Oh, right to the body. Oh, reversal catches Gulak. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Jarring European uppercut. A sound suplex. A gut buster. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Nasty. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. Maybe just stay down, man. You've done enough. Oh, to the back of the neck. What a lariat. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. Gulak's strategy paying dividends. Yeah, Gulak is chipping away bit by bit. Exploder suplex. This is just brute power. German. Just pure dominance. Now Apollo Crews is the legal man. What a close line! Good grief. Great wherewithal on the counter. Oh, Pop no. up. He's Don't got him do it. Style. Do it. Up to the top rope now. Oh, guys, watch this. 450 elbow drop. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a rag doll here. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. the reversal by Apollo Crews. This crowd is truly unworthy of his incredible magnificence. Oh, oh, power bomb! That's it. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. Two. Being carried around with ease. Oh! Into the lung blower! Cruz's resolve might be wavering here. Some flaws in Cruz's game plan are being exposed. And tag, he did it. Let's go. 
Oh, ouch! He's able to fend off the attack. Saw it coming and got out of there. Arms trapped. This is unique. Bang! It's over. For the win! Two! No! A two count! That is just pure instinct at this point. his team in the match. Cruz. He may get the three count right here. This is it. The cover. Still only got one. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. A power. Uh-oh. Double underhook. Tiger. Will this be enough? Now that'll do some serious damage. just turned on his partner. Well, apparently that's the first and last time we'll see these two team up. Unbelievable. Drew, you trained with your partner for weeks and finally teamed together tonight for the first time, but then, for some reason, you attacked him after the match. Can you explain why? I'd be happy to. You see, when we were training together, everything was so easy for him, okay? No matter what test or challenge I threw at him, he passed with flying colors. And the whole time, he had this attitude about it, almost like he was doing me the favor instead of the other way around. And then, when we finally teamed together, he just had to get the win, right? It was his way of trying to one-up me, because he thinks he's so great. Well, I've got news for him. He's not, and I'll prove it. Because he thought he passed all the tests, well, he didn't. I'm the final test, and this time, he's going to fail. So, you're challenging him to a match? Yes, but not just any match. I want to see if he actually learned anything. So I'm proposing a match with no shortcuts allowed, which means no running, no escaping the ring, and no top rope moves. Now we'll find out who's got holes in their game and who doesn't. Here comes the party pooper. What are you, six? And his opponent 
from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in. Drew Gulak's partnership abruptly came to an end last week when he turned on his former student. Now they face each other in a matchup with some unusual stipulations. That's right, Michael. Gulak said there'd be no shortcuts allowed, which means no running, no escaping the ring, and no top rope moves. Kind of stacking the deck in his favor, if you ask me. Those are all legitimate rules, and now let's find out if his former student actually learned anything. We know Gulak failed to fix his poor attitude. Across the shoulder, knee right to the face. German suplex. Uh-oh. Phoenix splash! Oh gosh, how'd he do that? Oh, Pop no. up. He's Don't got him set the style do it. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Oh, that could be a knockout blow. And Drew Gulak isn't being given any room to recover. Gulak has to start trusting his instincts at this point. Oh, look at the kicks right to the midsection. Oh, series of kicks in the corner. Just ruthless. Drew Gulak with the Irish whip on his former student. Wait, was that legal in this match? He tripped over the ropes. And with the referee down, Gulak is showing you exactly the kind of man he is, breaking the rules that he proposed. Yeah, he's showing you that he's intelligent and an opportunist. The no-fly zone has been temporarily lifted. Leaving the ring, another rule violation. And now into the steel steps. Drew Gulak is completely taking advantage of this situation. He has no integrity. This is ridiculous. And of course, just as the referee recovers, Gulak initiates a side headlock. What's wrong with that? It's perfectly legal. Yeah, after he broke three other rules. You guys are nerds. Ah! Oh. Measuring. Oh, face stop. Oh, reversal catches Gulak. Oh, up for clothesline. He's absorbing some tough hits now. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Gulak saves himself. Holding the shoulder hostage now. set up for this offense. Bang! It's over. Uh-oh. Double underhook. Tiger bomb! Wait a minute. Setting in. Devastating submission coming. It is locked in. STF applied. This one could be over. After all that punishment, he had no choice but to tap out. This singles contest has a big...